Hey everybody, namaste. This is Ben of Holy Orders at the Summit Lighthouse. Um, and I wanted to make a comment about uh, the ascension of Elizabeth Clare Prophet and the messengerial succession, additionally. And I'm trying to uh, do this in a diplomatic manner. Um, I care very much about Elizabeth Clare Prophet's legacy as someone in uh, Holy Orders. And also about uh, her family, her spiritual family, and uh, the teachings, and how the teachings are preserved and handled in the press, um, and how we talk about the messengerial succession. Um, the death of Elizabeth Clare Prophet did not leave uh, some sort of gap at the Summit Lighthouse that needs to be filled. Death is illusory, and uh, only represents a transition. Most of us, um, most of the people watching this, in fact, all of the people watching this at Sheila's and also light bearers generally put, who are at a certain level of attainment, understand my assertion that death is illusory. Uh, some religions even uh, say that death is an illusion uh, and, and state that people can live forever. So, um, including the immortalists, the Rast uh, rather, the Rastafarians refer to the doctrine of immortalism. You know, they state that death is, is not true. Um, so that's one thing to consider. Another thing to consider is that the, you have to, first of all, uh, it's not a popularity contest. You know, this is about balancing karma. Who is going to be the next quote-unquote head? Well, really, the next, the next spiritual head of, of the Summit Lighthouse, which is the top tier of all of the Ascended Masters churches, in my view. And, and it's not just in my view, that's a, a, a material fact. Um, the individual who will be relocated to the ranch in order to, my alarm is going off, in order to perpetuate the teaching and to continue holding the balance of karma on this particular space-time trajectory is Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Um, and so we don't have to look for uh, anybody to be, quote-unquote, the next guru or the next uh, great uh, teacher uh, for the you know, uh, people on this particular path. All the chilas hold parts of the mantle, and it depends upon your level of attainment. Mother was karmically different from the other chilas at the Summit Lighthouse. And I don't think that the people understand this uh, who are representing that they are the new embodiment of Elizabeth Clare Prophet, or the new Guru Ma, or the new head of the Great White Brotherhood. And if, I think believe that if you look at their information, um, it's inaccurate. Uh, with the exception of the individuals such as myself who are w working within holy orders, who are working within the church. That doesn't mean that we believe, when I say within the church, I don't represent that Royal Teton Retreat and the current administration um, makes all of the right decisions all of the time. Um, but I do represent that the Summit Lighthouse and the holy orders as they were chartered by Elizabeth Clare Prophet and Mark Prophet uh, by way of dictations to the masters. Uh, I do represent that we have accurate information. And I believe that utilizing the methodology in the alchemy taught by Elizabeth Clare Prophet would reveal that certain people outside of the church are making claims, or even within the church, are making claims that are not accurate. Now, I don't believe someone, someone told me at one point, a good friend of mine who I believe is a very inspired individual, um, made a statement to me one time that Mother didn't support the Temple of the Presence teachers. Well, that might be true, and it might also be the case that <clears throat> someone had inaccurate information. The Temple of the Presence doesn't represent, to the best of my knowledge, that they are the new heads of, of the Summit Lighthouse. 
I believe that they say that they are an ascended master temple. And they represent that Mark Prophet is the Chohan of the Second Secret Ray, which is accurate information. And I know that in my capacity as a Holy Orders member. Um, they also state that Elizabeth Clare Prophet was the messenger. They don't refer to themselves, the shearers don't, do not refer to themselves as messengers. They refer to themselves as quote-unquote anointed representatives. Now that's a term that we don't use. They also don't refer to the, the, the keepers of the flame within their own church as keepers. They refer to them as torchbearers. So they use different language, and I believe that's intentional. I believe they do so because they know that they are not part of the Summit Lighthouse. Um, and, you know, to the best of my awareness, they don't state that they are Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Elizabeth Clare Prophet made her ascension in a manner that brought Germain to the helm of Church Universal and Triumphant. And I do not believe that this has ever been successfully articulated by anybody exterior to the Summit Lighthouse. Um, and as a Chila, um, within the Summit Lighthouse, um, I can tell you that the best information and the, the, the prime information emerges from the Summit Lighthouse because of that transition in which Elizabeth Clare Prophet, upon reifying herself effectively and bringing her own self into being, that's how great her, her karma was so high, her attainment was so high that uh, she was able to um, balance 100% of karma for one Sheila within basically within the church now that one Sheila really is bound is in some respects has that uh, attained the level of Jesus and mother had attained the level of Jesus uh, depending upon your definition of that level and so um, to be an embodiment, in other words, you have to balance 90, you, you can't balance more than 92% of karma because you would no longer be on the planet uh, effectively. And Mother's attainment was so high that she, she balanced 92% of her karma. She remained in embodiment to the fullest of her capacity and left the altar, but only temporarily, again, because death is an illusion. So, in, in doing so, was able to make certain sacrifices that balanced karma for the Germain Sheila, who basically was at the highest state of karmic evolution, personally, and was ready to make his ascension. And um, that Germain Sheila truly is Elizabeth Clare Prophet, even though... Um, his his karma actually he carried he actually ends up at, in the end that person that that Sheila uh, ends up balancing more karma than Elizabeth Clare Prophet. That's how the succession passes, and I don't believe that um, he balances the karma that Elizabeth Clare Prophet could not personally balance in her own um, in her own manifestation and in her own life path. In other words, um, and that does refer to the Jesus principle, and I I will refer to that a little bit additionally uh, in this recording I'll try to get to that in this recording but I don't believe that the people who are making the claim that they are uh, Elizabeth Clare Prophet re-embodied uh, if that claim is emerging exterior to holy orders at the Summit Lighthouse it isn't accurate information but um, you know I and I don't want to name names but there are a couple "Quote unquote pretenders to the throne of Elizabeth Clare Prophet out there, and it is, it's not accurate information. Although there is some, there are kernels of truth within some of the material, um, but it's not accurate in its entirety, and so um, it would be a shame for us to permit that information to penetrate our our temple and the inner retreat and so forth." Um, and it's not the worst thing in the world to want to be the next leader of the Great White bro Brotherhood, but it's not about popularity, and it's not about even accruing, you know, 
uh, knowledge. It's about walking the path of Christhood. It's a very serious issue to have been a guru at the attainment of Elizabeth Clare Prophet. You know, this is a woman who was able to balance 100% of karma for one person. You know, and that that is um, that's truly incredible and, and sacrificial. And so I find it to be problematic when people emerge to say, I'm the new Elizabeth Clare Prophet, and so on. Uh, you know, everybody in holy orders is, uh, has that, has the, the, the charge and the life path of Elizabeth Clare Prophet among their chakra array to a certain extent. And for some Sheila's, you know, many Chilas are at the same level of attainment and will always be at that level of attainment because, you know, unlike Elizabeth Clare Prophet, they've, they've, they've achieved enough balance karmically that they're able to be within the Sangha, to stay within the Sangha. Why? Not because they know about it and have studied it for a long time, because, but because they're actually living uh, sacrificial lives. You know, they're walking the path of Christhood and they're balancing karma for other people. Um, and uh, so it's supremely important that the order um, is respected not for the sake of saying that we are holier than thou and better than other people exterior to the to the church, better than the temple of the presence uh, temple or uh, people who are in uh, walking other religions and so forth. But because this is a it's a, it's a legacy involving sacrifice, and so. Um, it's and the, the path of Christhood. Now, the path of Christhood isn't just about internal reflection. It's really about the principles that ought to be known and understood by members of Order of the Diamond Heart, which is my order, and that is ba helping other people balance the Sacred Heart of Jesus, or rather, to bear the burden of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That's a very serious matter, you know, uh, and. Chilas are at a certain level of, of attainment and they serve a very specific function not only theologically but socially geopolitically and, and so on so um, I, I, and I you know I, I would like to write a book to articulate exactly the manner in which Elizabeth Clare Prophet went about founding Church Universal and Triumphant time isn't linear you know and uh, uh, so it's important to remember that uh, when we discuss the recurrence of the the, the the mantle and the succession. Now, is it it's not Elizabeth Clare Prophet who returns to power in the same karmic at the same karmic level, and I think that's important to understand as well. And I mentioned before, one hundred percent of of. Uh, karma, balancing 100% of karma. Well, Elizabeth Clare Prophet herself taught this, that Chilas, before before uh, Germaine intervened with the karmic board, Germaine went to the karmic board at one point in human history, um, and even in the history of our church, so to speak, and you really, and again, because time isn't linear, we've been around, you know, we were the Essene Jews, we are the Essene Jews, uh, the whole uh, unfoldment of the, the Christ path is actually in the process of occurring, um, it's eternally recurrent, um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that Jesus is going to make it to the cross a second time, you know, part of, part of our path is to protect protect the the Holy Child, you know, I do believe that as well. Um, but again, when you think of when you think of it in, in terms of uh, time not being linear, then you're able to grasp more readily that um, death is an illusion, right? And so we shouldn't think in terms of of Elizabeth Clare Prophet um, not being able to bear the mantle it's just that she's in a she's in a transitional period right now so there is no someone other than mother quote unquote running the church and there never will be someone other than mother running the church or at the head of, of the church and let me explain more about the balancing of karma 
Jermaine intervened at the Karmic, Karmic Board at one, at one point and said, you're expecting too much. And that is, that is a really good synopsis of <laughs> what it is that man, of mankind's plight and our Sangha's uh, plight as individuals who balance the, 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 the karma for other people and who balance, uh, share the burden of the Sacred Heart with other people. God, uh, if he's in power up there, uh, is expecting too much. I mean, God is in power. My, my argument elsewhere is that God doesn't always know uh, to intervene until we demand that he intervene, and until we decree, until we're recognized, until the Dharmakaya, we draw down the Dharmakaya to assist us. And we're, we have that gift. We have uh, that, uh, you know, we are all part of uh, sh sharing in the body of body of Christ because we're walking that path, the ascension path, which includes the Golgotha path. And um, so we have are able to draw special attention through our prayer work. Well, Germain at one point said, you're expecting too much of Church Universal and Triumphant. You're expecting too much of us. We aren't able to do what it is that we can't balance 100% of karma under these circumstances. <laughs> you know, and so the karmic board, which is the, the board that really governs uh, law, uh, theological and cosmic law, you know, what, 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 is, what is possible to achieve on the planet and what is not possible, went in and said, okay, so 51% of karma. Now, what does that mean, 51% of karma? Well, it means that Germain's influence changed cosmic law on the planet. Before Germain said, I'm not doing this anymore, <laughs> effectively, um, there was no way to uh, make your ascension without balancing 100% of karma. Uh, and so, in, in Mother, in walking as perfect of a path as possible, was able, uh, in the end, to bring that germane Sheila uh, into embodiment. Um, and, you know, Mother taught, and it, it, it is part of the summit, light, the official summit lighthouse teaching that you have to have 92% of, of karma to be in embodiment on the planet. If you have 93, 94, more than 92% of karma, then uh, you're no longer embodied. You wouldn't be embodied here. You'd be in some sort of, you'd be an ascended master out of embodiment. Or you'd be at work in some esoteric part of the inner planes, I suppose. Um, but you wouldn't be embodiment as a human being. So there's that 8% of karma that that remains. And then the other the other teaching that's important to understand is that on very rare occasion in human history, one Sheila and one Guru make their ascension as one. The Guru is, is uh, such a high level of attainment that he balances, or she balances, and in the case of Mother, um, she balanced 100% of karma for one uh, Sheila. In other words, that Sheila became Elizabeth Clare Prophet. That's how that transpires, um, believe it or not. you know. And um, if you don't understand the alchemy, you probably ought to take a, a closer, closer look at it, and I would encourage you to do that. But, um, right, and then at the very end, the Sheila says, well, I am not going to let you walk the path of the of the Christ path that you were not able to walk. I am not going to give you the burden that I could not withstand and still survive and still maintain embodiment. I won't do that, Elizabeth Clare Prophet. I will balance that for you. That individual becomes Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Um, that's how that transformation occurs. So, to say look around for who's the next it's you'll know when mother is there on the podium <laughs> you know and um, that it's mother and you will um, you know th she will have other there will be other individuals that it'll be obvious to you who those people are I believe but I don't you know some of these books that are being written uh, one one book was had a title and again I don't want to name names but 
I don't think Mother would ever say what that individual claims that she said. It doesn't sound like Mother to me at all when I read something like that. And um, it's not that it's personally offensive. It's that it has the capability or the potential of misleading a lot of people when we're trying to do humanitarian work effectively through the church and we'll eventually get there. To have other people come in and say that they balance all this karma for one Sheila, I think is not appropriate. So I wanted to point that out there because I keep getting notes in my mailbox from people um, promoting this book or, or, or that book and so on. You have to understand, in order to understand who, who is next, and it's not that, and again, it's, it's confusing to some people, I think, because it's Elizabeth Clare Prophet, but Elizabeth Clare Prophet at a different level of karmic attainment. And so um, you really do, you have to understand that it's, uh, you know, it's not something that can be defined really in traditional allopathic, well, not allopathic, rather, um, in traditional um, scientific terms. It's not the science that you would find or uh, emerging from the Enlightenment or taught to you by Isaac Newton or, you know, people teaching evolution and so forth. It's not that kind of science. It's spiritual science. Um, h however, um, there is alchemy that can be discerned in life. Um, and we all know that what we're taught in school is is sometimes representative of the truth, but not Uh, an effective relay of the entirety of the truth. So I would just uh, encourage people to work within the church. It's you know, it, and and if you're opposed to some of the uh, you know goings on, cling to the notion that Elizabeth Clare Prophet founded Church Universal and Triumphant. If you want to be part of the um, close to the White Fire Core. You don't, it has nothing to do with the title. I mean, it does to the extent that you want it to, you know, but I mean, if you want to be a great guru on Sheila, understand the, 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 the alchemy and understand the ascension path and understand that mother in her, you know, and it was revealed to me and, you know, to the extent that it matters and I feel that it is very important uh, to the unfolding Dharma uh, that uh, my work and work of other Sheilas within the Sangha uh, uh, is recognized. It was revealed to me that, you know, Mother, in, in that arrangement between Mother and that one Sheila that she is essentially, whose life she's effectively saving by by surrendering, surrendering her own embodiment so that that Sheila can take up her embodiment, well, um, She's really, and I said, well, that's really like something that that Germaine would do, right? Is that correct? And Mother revealed to me at, at one point that, you know, she's really more like Jesus in, as, as, a, as a guru. She's more like a Jesus who was able to make a certain amount of sacrifice in his life. And again, in my, in, in my view, and I believe that this is the authentic teaching, I, and as I mentioned before, I think that we're... Uh, Sheila's are, are duty bound to attempt to prevent the crucifixion effectively and and so uh, Elizabeth Clare Prophet is doing everything that she can for the Jesus who basically makes it to the cross and my theory and what I want to write about is that well really that Jesus who makes it to the cross is, is Germaine as the incoming Chohan uh, he puts a stop to the crucifixion by taking up the burden of his own son and uh, balancing that karma so that Jesus is spared effectively. It doesn't mean that Jesus wasn't willing or didn't believe that uh, you know the, the cup passes in a certain way and, and then you know it's going to take many volumes for me to <laughs> be able to um, uh, hammer all of this out for everybody. But when mother you know when mother, makes the, the mother is not just someone who is incredibly book smart and, and who worked her way up through the through the ranks uh with regard to knowledge she 
she spent her life balancing karma until she was head of Church Universal and Triumphant. And the ultimate goal is to bring Germain in, into being. And so Mother balanced one, she balanced the entirety of the karma for the Chila. And then at the very end, the Chila took back the 8% of karma that Mother could not balance and still maintain embodiment. And I don't believe that the people who are saying that they're the next Guru Ma understand this principle at all. And so um, it's, I believe it's important that uh, we move forward in a productive direction. You know, words matter, particularly at Church Universal and Triumphant, because they, they bear a karmic charge. You know, uh, Jesus is among us, our ranks, uh, as it seems. We're different, you know, I don't like to use DNA. It's not really the correct model, but what people mean by DNA... I suppose we're different, um, the burden we bear is more intense and is karmically more than um, the burden of the, borne by a lot of people outside of the church. I think that that's fair to say, um, because we have uh, attained a certain degree of mastery. And uh, that's, you know, walking the path of Christhood is, is very difficult. And, uh, you know, for, for some of us, it's not even a, ch a choice. You know, we don't have the choice uh, to have that cut pass. You know, so it's, uh, and again, I will discuss this in detail. But it, it's, it's difficult to hear uh, people trying to wrest uh, authority away from where the authority ought to reside, which is in the will and the legacy of Elizabeth Clare Prophet. So, um, and, uh, right, balancing karma, and I hope I, I hope I completed that, that thought, and forgive me if I didn't, but I, I did want to make that, uh, that explanation, and, uh, if I've left out anything, I will answer people's questions elsewhere, and I appreciate your listening to me, um, uh, namaste, and, um, Stay focused on, on the true teaching and the true path. Thank you. Bye.